Hello students, moving on with polynomials, we were, we were learning about algebraic identities and we are on exercise 2.5 related to algebraic identities, question number 4. So let's see the first question which is x plus 2y plus 4z the whole square. Now I need to compare with the identities. You have three terms and you have to square it. So here we directly have the formula x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx, right? So I'm going to use the same thing, same identity to solve this question, right? So using, first of all, we have our identity written in the format of x, y and z as well as the question is in the form of x, y and z where x, y and z is a variable. So I am going to rewrite the identity using a, b and c instead of x, y and z respectively so that we can compare better and solve the questions very easily, right? So using a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca right what are the values of a b and c over here the value of my a is x value of my b is 2y and value of my c is equal to 4z right now i can simply substitute the value of a b and c into this as well as the using this we will find our solution. So therefore I have x plus 2y plus 4z the whole square is equal to a square is x square. So x square then I have b square so b square is 2, 2y the whole square plus c square c is 4z so 4z the whole square right plus 2 into a into b so my a is x and b is 2y so 2 into x into 2y I will just continue down because I do not have much space okay plus 2 into b into c so 2 into 2y into 4z right plus 2 into c into a so my c is 4z and my a is x so i'm just going to substitute over here so 4z into x right i'll start writing from here itself because we'll have to write the answer so this is equal to x square plus 2y the whole square which is 4y square plus 4z the whole square is 16z square plus 2 into x into 2y so multiplying the constant parts which is 2 into 4 and variable part xy so 4xy similarly we have 2 into 2 into 4 so this is 2 to the 4 4 4 are 16 16yz plus 2 fours are 8, 8zx, right? So we have found the solution. Now we just write to, uh, need to write it in the form of an answer. So x plus 2y plus 4z, the whole square is equal to x square plus 4y square plus 16z square plus 4xy plus 16yz plus 8zx. Finally, as a tradition says you need to highlight your answer right please take a look let us now proceed with question number two so we have 2x minus y plus z the whole square. Again this is similar to our identity number 5 
wherein we have three terms and we have to square however with a difference in sign over here so let us go ahead and rewrite this expression right so this is equal to 2x plus of minus y plus z the whole square now does it resemble our identity number 5 you have three terms adding in between and you're squaring it look at this right so we are going to use identity number 5 and solve this further so using again we have our variables x y z over here so i'm going to rewrite identity number 5 in the form of a b and c so using a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca so what do i get my values of a b and c over here comparing with this expression a is equal to 2x b is equal to minus y and c is equal to z right substituting the values of a b and c into this expression what do we get you have 2x plus of minus y plus z the whole square is equal to a square which is 2x the whole square so 2x the whole square plus b square which is minus y the whole square so plus minus y the whole square plus c square which is z so z square plus 2 into a into b so 2 into 2x into minus y plus 2 into b into c so minus y into z plus 2 into c into a so my c is z and a is 2x substituting i get right let's go ahead and expand this this is equal to 4x square plus square of minus y will give you y square y square plus z square plus now let's multiply the brackets you have 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4x into minus y will give me minus 4xy so Minus four x y, right? Then you have two into minus y into z. This will give me minus two y z. So minus two y z. Then finally, two two's are four four z x. So let's open the brackets now. What do we get? Four x square plus y square. Plus z square plus into minus gives me a minus, so minus four x y. Similarly, plus into minus will give me a minus minus two y z, and finally plus four z x. I'm opening the brackets here as well. So what do I get? Two x minus y plus z, the whole square, right? Box up your answer. So my answer is 2x minus y plus z the whole square is equal to 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 4zx. Agreed? Let's go ahead with the third question. So my third question is minus two x plus three y plus two z the whole square. Correct. This is again similar to my fifth identity, wherein I have sum of three terms and I have to square the entire bracket. So I'm going to first rewrite this as okay. Minus two x plus three y 
plus 2z the whole square. So, this is x y z the whole square or a plus b plus c the whole square right. So, using my fifth identity using a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b uh, a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a right. Comparing we let us find the value of a b and c a is equal to minus 2 x b is equal to 3 y and c is equal to 2 z right. Now, using the values of a and b a b and c we are going to expand this expression. So, what do we get minus 2 x plus 3 y plus 2 z the whole square is equal to a square which is mi minus 2 x the whole square plus 3 y the whole square plus 2 z the whole square right. So, a square plus b square plus c square now we need to find 2 a b 2 b c and 2 c a. So, 2 a b my a is minus 2 x minus 2 x into 3 y 3 y is the value of b ok plus 2 b c. So, 2 into 3 y into 2 z finally, I have 2 c a. So, this is 2 into 2 z into minus 2 x right everything looks correct 2 x y 3 y 2 z and 2 z minus 2 x. Let us go ahead and further expand this what do we get minus 2 x the whole square will give me 4 x square plus 3 y the whole square is 9 y square plus 2 z the whole square is 4 z square plus 2 into 2 2 into minus 2 gives me minus 4 minus 4 into 3 gives me minus 12 x y. So, minus 12 x y plus 2 3s are 6, 6 2s are 12. So, 12 y z plus 2 2s are 4, 4 into minus 2 gives me minus 8 z x. Right? Let us rewrite it. I have 4 x square plus 9 y square plus 4 z square. Now, plus into minus gives me a minus. So, minus 12 x y plus 12 y z minus 8 z x. Why minus 8 z x? Because plus into minus gives me a minus. So, finally, I will write this in the form of the question itself which is minus 2 x plus 3 y plus 2 z the whole square right. Finally, box my answer. So, we have completed que sub questions 1, 2 and 3 of uh, question number 4 of exercise 2.5. Let us look at the remaining sums of uh, sub questions of question 4 in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win ePartshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.